All right, so here's a very interesting life hack which Elon Musk shows to people. Tap the home button, tap stars on the upper right of the screen, select latest news. You are being manipulated by the algorithm in ways you don't realize. Is it to switch back and forth? So I have done what he said. Click the home button. Then you click the stars over here. And then you click see latest tweets. And all of a sudden, I get to see the things that I'm subscribed to. I get to see what I want to see and not what the algorithm forces me to see. I gotta say, like, after doing this, Twitter has actually become a worthwhile experience. I mean, look, the reason I subscribe to certain people is because, I know this is shocking, but I want to see what those certain people have to post. The algorithm up till now was showing me what the algorithm thought I wanted to see. But, like, look, I'm telling you what I want to see. I I'm not being cryptic. I'm not trying to be esoteric. I'm telling you that the people that I click subscribe on are the people that I want to engage with. Now, if only they would be able to fix the trending tab as well, because the trending tab is bullshit. But that's another story. Now, one of the ways that the algorithm really messes with what, what you want to see is that if someone posts a video or an article or something that takes you off the platform, the algorithm suppresses that. So I used to subscribe to a lot of YouTubers because I wanted to see when they're posting a new video because the YouTube recommendation also uses a similar algorithm that decides which videos get to be promoted or not. I decided to subscribe on Twitter to YouTubers that I like so I can see when they're posting something. And because of the algorithm on Twitter, you don't get to see that. I mean, I got tweets, for example, that went viral here you go, a tweet which I will talk about it on my other channel on lack of entertainment. 193,000 likes, 33,000 retweets, and it was posted on May the 13th. So it's not like I don't have the clout. It's not like I do not have the ability of making stuff go viral. But if I post one of my videos, it would get like maybe five likes and six retweets. And, and the reason for this is that the algorithm suppresses things that takes the user out of the site because Twitter wants you to spend as much time on the site as possible, right? So that's how the algorithm, like one of the many ways that the algorithm manipulates people. And I want to see when a content creator uploads a video. That's why I use the platform. And that's just one of the many ways. But as you can imagine, Elon Musk has to come out and says, I'm not suggesting malice in the algorithm, but uh, rather that it's trying to guess what you might want to read. And in doing so, inadvertently manipulates or amplifies your viewpoints without realizing that this is happening. I mean, I guess to a certain degree. But again, like the way that social media became popular back in the day was because you would subscribe to a bunch of people or pages and you would get info from those people and pages that you subscribe to. You didn't need anything else. And obviously, people are really upset about this. As you can see here, uh, thanks Captain Obvious. I have been using Twitter for more than six years. I didn't know about this. Like, I didn't know you can switch back and just completely remove the algorithm from the equation. And I'm telling you, a lot of people didn't know. I am willing to bet that this is a left-wing person. Ah, there we go. Uh, blocked by Trump. Yeah, okay. You know, how did I figure it out? It's almost like a benchmark test at this point. Like, anyone that doesn't like Elon Musk is left-wing. I, I, I don't know why. On Twitter, I mean. And I, like, I'm pretty sure there are reasons not to like Elon Musk, but, like, people who pathologically just tweet at him and are, like, <laughs> angry. Left-wingers. Almost entirely. I'm sure there are a couple who aren't, but like from my personal experience, like go check yourself, go go check it out, you know, do this game, left wing or not, and, and you then look at their profile time and time again. Look at this guy, right? Very important to fix your Twitter feed. Click on Elon Musk, tap the three dots to the right, select block. You are being manipulated by the algorithm, blah, blah, blah. Oh, now it's not uh, Twitter is a private company, is it? You, you're not using that argument. But it's kind of interesting that they're defending the algorithm that existed before. So, like, they want to be controlled on the information that they get to see. Like, I, I just don't understand how a human being that's a grown-ass adult can be like that. 
It's like, I'm not capable of deciding what information I should be exposed to. So I want a big corporation to decide it for me. I, I want the person that I've never met in my life. I want a person that's in a position of power to get to decide for me what information I am and I'm not exposed to. Who does that? No, seriously, like what, what type of... I, I want to meet that person and have a conversation with them. I want to see how they tick. I want to see how they express themselves because it's just so bizarre. It's like, what did I need in my life? A, a person that doesn't want my well-being, doesn't even know who I am, to decide what information I'm being exposed to or not. I, I mean, seriously, th this is how bad it sounds when you articulate it, when it comes out of your mouth because that's literally what they want. And, and they're very upset, like, I could just make an entire one-hour video going down and you can see what people are saying and how outraged they are that Elon Musk told them how to disable the algorithm. The only explanation is that they are paying Twitter so that the algorithm promotes them. Like, that is a possibility, I guess. Because I don't understand why they're so upset. Like, who hurt them? Literally, you know, the way they would ask you back in the day, who hurt you? Who hurt them? Who hurt them that they're so upset at Elon Musk for disclosing this? Which, by the way, again... Maybe some of you knew about I didn't know about it. Like, it's such a tiny thing on the corner of the page that I just didn't see it. I didn't even know it's there. Who tinkers with the options on Twitter, anyway? Curated lists are far superior to the home screen and always in chronological order. I just switched mine earlier. Reminds me of old school Facebook and Twitter. I didn't even know I had that option before. Yeah. Almost no one knew they have that option before. Anyone that tells you, it's like, oh yeah, I always knew. I don't believe them. Latest tweets are pretty ridiculous. If you're not on the app for a while, you're likely to miss most things. And the more people you follow, the less likely you'll see anything re relevant. Dude, I follow hundreds of people. I completely disagree with this. Not to mention, like, I don't need to see everything all the time. But again... I'm I'm not against it, you know. Like if you if you want to disable it, that's fine. If you want to leave it enabled, that's also fine. But what I find it interesting is the people that are freaking out because Elon Musk is pointing out that the option to disable it even exists. But anyway, don't forget to check my lack of entertainment channel because otherwise you're missing half my content. I make five videos a day, two of them on this channel, two of them on the other one, and I also make a live stream. And uh I usually forget to promote myself, which is why I'm doing this now. <laughs> so I apologize, <laughs> but I got no other choice. Like, no one else is promoting me. Uh, I'll see you guys at This Week is Stupid. It's going to be great. And uh, hopefully I'll see you at my live stream after that. Take care and let me know what you think in the comment section.